another episode of Let's Talk Boxing. I'm Letty. I'm LB. And let's get into our Australian fight this weekend. Hey, I can't wait for this one. I cannot wait. Come yeah, on. so we have Tim Zhu out of Australia. Yep. I call him that. The Silent Assassin. Oh, you did call him that. Silent Killer. Versus Tony Harrison out of Detroit. AKA Super Bad. So, dang, I don't even know where to start. There's um a lot, a lot of comical buildup oh, on yeah. Tony's part. I oh, yeah. I feel, part. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we don't even need to do this. Tony Tony sells the fight so good. Exactly. I, I, you know, he doesn't leave very much for us. But go ahead. Let Honestly, me. it seems like Hilarious. a Tony Harrison show. Definitely. With all his interviews, the yep. press conferences, he's just hilarious. Um, Actually, every time, every press conference I think I told you, I was like, wait, I remember like thinking the same thing mm -hmm. when I saw his press conference, the other ones before. I was like, he's just so... He honestly is interesting to watch. Um, He's a personality he, for sure. Yeah, yeah, and he and he draws you in by the way he talks. It's like he really believes it, but he's comical at the same time. And it's real too. It's nothing forced. It's just all real. Yeah. It's right off the dome. Like yeah, like yeah. one of the things I think they were talking about, like he misses a reality show. I will watch that. He's yeah, I'll tell him he needs to show. Yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, we just got done watching the press conference. Um, and. Uh, <laughs> What can I say? He he walked up in there without his shirt. I don't think I've yeah. ever seen that before. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I, have you seen a fighter walking for a press conference? No, nah, no. Nah, but he been leading up. He been talking about taking the shirt off this whole the whole build up. He's like, I almost took my shirt off, and this time he actually did. And he did. Like, he showed up. Um, he said he got next. That. That's what he said. <laughs> yep. If y'all know, y'all know. Um, and then Tim Zhu, you know, he came in with his fit, looking yep, clean. Yep, yep. Um, I just feel like Tim Zhu. He's like you said more of a quiet you, you threw in that assassin at the end yeah. but he is more of a mellow quiet guy even he said it himself like you know i don't really i don't do a lot of talking um so i felt like he just let the floor you know for uh tony harrison to do the talking um but i think tim zoo is definitely going to come ready he's fighting in australia his home yeah. place um and i definitely think he's going to want to make a statement because of everything that tony has been saying yeah. also about him yeah is there, any, is there anything, there anything uh, was there anything from the from any of the villa that kind of you know that you enjoyed or anything like that everything yeah. i enjoyed every part every interview and build up with tony harrison has been hilarious yeah. but uh, what did what I was do saying, you think uh, the two the two things that come to mind is uh in the very first uh press conference when he said you know i feel like I feel like uh, Tim Zhu, you know, he took the elevator and I took the stairs. I was like, dang, when he said that, I was, you know, that's the part that stuck out to me. And I was like, dang, when he put it like that, that was, that was pretty clean to say. And then um, the other thing, what made me laugh is when uh, they did that sit down face, face, uh -huh. face off. You know what? We need to start doing more than face offs. The UK, they do a I good job of doing that. those. I was say, I don't know that yeah. we ever get all those in Yeah, the we don't like get that. those in the States. I want to see those in the States because every face-off I feel like we've seen, it, it's it's been good. It's been good. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, one of the things that jumped out to me right away is when he was like, he goes, he goes, hey, Tim Zhu was like, he goes, yeah, I understand this is the Super Bowl. He goes, he goes, yeah, the Super Bowl. He goes, he goes, yeah, how you get to, you ain't even, you, you ain't even played in the playoffs. How you get to the Super Bowl? His, uh, that was funny. Metaphors or whatever yeah. you call it were hilarious. Be witty, man. And, um... I mean, but yeah, I'm, and, yeah, and like, you know, I said, he was talking a lot about not like, you know, that Tim Zhu didn't really deserve to be fighting for the Undisputed versus Charlo. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was talking a lot about that, and I think some people were getting confused saying that he was saying that Tim Zhu wasn't a good fighter, mm -hmm. but he corrected. It was like, nah, he's a good fighter. It's just, I don't think he's seasoned enough to have been up next for the four yeah. bowls. Yeah, right? yeah, based on uh, based on the on the fighters Fights. that he fought. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I mean, the best up when uh, Charlo hurt his hand. I didn't know that they, they reached out to other fighters before they reached out to Tony Harrison. Yeah, Do you know anything? Yeah, I think yeah, they reached sure out to a fighter. few other ones. Um, but he said, obviously, that's the best man to go up against. It. And I mean, it makes sense because, like Tony said, I beat the man that you want to beat. Yeah. I beat the man to beat the man, whatever whatever he yeah. said. But, um, I mean, give us a little backstory of how we got here. How did this fight yeah. come about? So you kind of already touched on it uh, with uh, Jamel Charlo. You know, he was set to fight Jamel Charlo, but... Um, but uh, Jamel Charlo had the hand injury. And um, and we got to give some, um, some credit to Tim Zhu because throughout boxing, what we normally see when something like this happens, you know, you either see the, the fighter waited out, which is what Tony Harrison said he probably would have done, or you see them get um, a lesser a lesser touch, but you got, but for him to choose uh, Tony Harrison, it it really I, as a fan 
I was excited and I really couldn't believe because, you know, you don't see that happen in boxing. So that just shows that Tim Zoo obviously is cut from cut from that uh, coast of Zoo. So uh, is a true warrior. But yeah, so that's how kind of we got to that fight. Um, the last fights out, we saw um, Tim Zoo versus Terrell Gouche. Um, that was a that was his first fight, uh, his his uh, welcoming to the states fight, and then we also saw uh, and then um, and then we also saw Tony Harrison against uh, Sergio Garcia, uh, where he uh, won a unanimous decision there, and that was kind of that's kind of the where they came from um, before, and that's kind of that's kind of how we got here, and to also and to also kind of talk about some of the the fighters and you know what they bring. Um, uh, Tim Zhu, you know, he's a, a, a strong pressure fighter and he's, he's really physically strong too. Uh, I feel like he, he does everything, I feel like he does uh, pretty much everything pretty good. Uh, he's, he throw, you know, he's got good power. Um, he's a really good body puncher and uh, one of the, the punch that he loves is that uppercut. He's got a nasty, he got a nasty uppercut. He gets good leverage on that uppercut. Um, but yeah, you know, he's a pressure fighter come forward. Um, but I'll say this about his pressure. His pressure is, um, you know, he, he kind of takes his time with his pressure, if, the, if, if that kind of makes sense. Um, you know, he's not just in a rush to throw punches. He kind of gets, you know, kind of gets him to where, uh, gets his opponent to where he wants. And he takes his time before he actually, you know, lets his hands go. But once, you know, he kind of get, you know, once he, uh, but once he kind of has a, you stationary, uh, he really puts his uh, punches together and his combinations together. Yeah, his last fight against Michelle, I think that was the first time him getting dropped, if I believe. Yeah. Um, and he came back. And he finished the fight. I think I was kind of surprised when I seen him get dropped on the first round. It was like, oh, yeah. um, but he came back. He dominated and he won the fight. Yeah, and he showed, he showed, he showed, he showed dog, and he pretty much won uh, the rounds. You know, the rest of the rounds. Mm -hmm. And then um, Tony Harrison, on the other hand, you know, he's a previous world champ. Man, that dude can box his he ass off. You know, he, we might have to start calling him the professor or the teacher because. He be he be teaching them boys that sweet science. Yep, yep. And I mean, and he got good jab as yep. well. Uh, mm -hmm. He definitely he's got a thing, and he's he snaps the heads back when he jabs. Uh -huh. um, and yes, he boxes. He when he wants to brawl, even though he says that's not his style. Uh -huh. And in one of the interviews, he was like. I forgot what he mentioned. Like, look, why? Why am I? You're only called a tough fighter. They only call you that when you just take punches, and that's yeah. not the kind of fighter I am. Yeah. But when he was in there with uh, J uh with Jamel, mm -hmm. shit, like the second fight, he wanted to show that he was a dog. And he was gonna walk him down, and they exchanged some power punches, mm -hmm. and it just showed that he does have a little bit more of a different side to him. Yeah. Obviously, it got the best. It uh, it got the best of him. Um, and he ended, didn't end up winning that fight when yeah. he wants to stand up and exchange, but I guess it depends on who's on the other end. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, you know, you kind of talked about it. Tony Harrison, he has probably one of my favorite jabs in the game. And it doesn't even, he doesn't get, it doesn't get talked about enough. Um, and, enough, you know, he's good at disguising it with his feints. He always has these good feints. He feints down to the body and then he'll, he'll even throw the jab to the body or up top. But that's that's been his bread and butter, that lead hand, and that's um and and also you know he he uses good movement and you talk about counter punching that man can counter punch. Yeah, counter, count, call him a counter punch. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. He does. Yeah. And so and so you know talking about coming into this fight, if he if I feel like I think as if he wants to get the uh, dub in this fight, he gonna definitely have to do what he does best and box and not try to get in there and get into a war with uh, Tim Zhu because we know Tim Zhu, he gets hit a lot. He's used to getting hit a lot. And like Tony said, I don't get hit. And that's just my body's not used to that. That's why sometimes you see me go down or whatever because my body's not used to it. Um, so I just think that he needs to stick to his, uh, his game plan and the way he boxes instead of being drawn into the way the other boxers fight is um and yes of course counter punching is great but i feel like box but he needs to throw in some combinations instead of just jab 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 which jab is great but yeah. he needs to throw some combinations to try and slow down tim zoo because tim zoo just gonna come yeah and to, and to kind of talk about you know a little bit about that yeah once he gets that jab going that 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 uh that two that right hand that comes behind that it, it's it's sneaky and it yeah. is accurate 
it is accurate. I will say that. That right hand, because, you know, once he's landing that jab, that right hand comes out quick and accurate. I'll say that. Sharpshooter. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of that's kind of the fighters. Um, but, yeah, you trying to want to get into it? Uh... Um, like we said, Tim Tim's going to come forward. He's going to throw those punches. How do you think that Tony is going to react to his punches? you think he's going to be able to take them? Yeah, I think he's going to be able to take him. Um, just to kind of, uh, you know, a lot of people always say, um, you know, Tony, he fades late. Some people say he doesn't have a chin. Um, or some people, you know, they talk about his gas tank. Um, and, you know, Tony, Tony said, Tony said in his interview on the, uh, on the last stand, he said, man, I was, that was just pure exhaustion. That's <laughs> yep. it. That's it. That's yep. it. That's, yep. it, that's what he said. Yeah, nothing left. Yeah. And then, um, his brother, who's his trainer said, you know, I think that Tony, you know, he loses, he loses focus. Um, and to kind of talk about, you know, those just two different things right there. Um, if you look at, you know, because Tony is only lost. He's only lost by being knocked out. No one has been able to get a decision over Tony. Um, and, so to, and so to kind of talk about that, you know, his first knockout was against Willie Nelson, right? And Willie Nelson, he said, you know, pure exhaustion. Leading up into that fight before Willie Nelson, that man had barely even seen the sixth round. If you go and you look at his record, he was getting people out of there under three. And then, he, you know, he had that big step up with Willie Nelson and it and it and it went long and you know and he said it was pure exhaustion and he got out of there and then and then when uh his brother his brother said yeah I feel like he loses focus and I think that he does lose focus at times because even in that second Charlo fight he clearly lost focus early rounds and he got dropped he got dropped early. on the inside early I think it was like second round but and then so I bet I, I, I bet at that time a lot of people think like, oh, yeah, that's right. You know, he can't fight on the inside with Charlo or else that's going to happen. But guess what happened? It wasn't that he couldn't fight on the inside because he got up and he started fighting on and the inside. And he was throwing, like he yeah. was getting Charlo. Yeah, and that's why I said. So it's not, it's not that he can't do it. So in that instant, he definitely lost focus. And when they talk about his chin, he was taking Huge shots. Yes. Yeah, after, yeah. Even after getting dropped. Yeah, he was, said. and he was and taking he was still, it. Yeah. So I, I don't agree with the, with, with the chin. And then you know, people try to say like, you know, he fades late, but they're only saying that in the fights that he lost against arguably the hardest puncher well, in the division. Well, and undisputed. Yeah, who's the uh -huh. Jamel Charlo? Who's the hardest puncher in the division? <laughs> and then the other one in Jared Hurd, who is a who is huge and he he we already know how hard he punches. He getting everybody out of there. Yeah, so so you know, I so I'm not really sure about that because you know, we seen him, especially we seen him in his last fight. He was he was uh he was sharp all 10 unanimous decision. Um so that's kind of that's kind of the things, you know, when when I hear people kind of talk about that, you know, his chin and stuff like that. That's that those are just kind of my thoughts. Yeah, and I mean, what do you think about Tim Zhu because you know, Tony yeah. said he might he might go for the knockout for him. Tim Zhu, I think he definitely has some power. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to say that he don't. You know, yeah. um, he. I mean, we looked at and, and the kind of thing that I kind of looked at when it came to Tim Zhu. You know, um, there's most of his uh, opponents I really wasn't too familiar with, but there was two on there that I was familiar with, and that was uh, Jeff Horn. Um, I had the opportunity to see Jeff Horn when he fought uh, when he fought uh, Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford got him up out of there. And then I got to see, um, and also against um, Hogan, we seen him against uh, Big Charlo, and uh, Big Charlo ended up um, knocking him out. And he did similar things and got those guys out of there. I think that, uh, so I say that to say that I definitely think he does have power. Yeah. And 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 um, you know he also said that you know everyone's calling me a basic fighter, but he's like I haven't I haven't needed to show those things. He didn't have the opponent. Yeah. He yeah. only show when I have the opponent. So yeah. Hey, so he may have something. Yeah, so, so I'm excited see. to see because, yeah. like we said, he's a silent little killer. He's really quiet, but I'm really excited yeah. to see him in the ring, especially he's. I don't know that he's fought someone like Tony before, yeah. um, who's gonna we said he's gonna show the skills yeah. um, in the ring. So let's see how he faces that adversity, you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, kind of going based off that and the way each fighter is, um, I think it's gonna be a great fight. Okay, Australians, they don't come out and watch. Of course, yep. we know they have yep. a big following. Um, but like we say, skills pay the bills. And I'm going to stick with that. And I'm going with Tony Harrison. Okay. Um, I wouldn't go as far as thinking he might stop Tim Zhu. I think it might go to uh, the scorecards. Um, but yeah, I, I think Tony, it, 
you know, he he don't give a run for his money though. Tim Zoo is, but I, I feel like Tim's uh Tony is gonna hit this fight. Okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna give a, a little a, a little analysis here. Um, so yeah, so when I kind of think about um, you know, that last fight, um, and Terrell Goucher because that was the closest thing to a Tony Harrison that he's fought, and he's you know he is not Tony Harrison, but but that. That is the closest thing that I feel like uh, that Tim Zhu has fought thus far. Um, when you look at that fight, Terrell Boucher, uh, one of the things that he was able to land, he was def the jab definitely gave um, Tim Zhu some problems, uh, especially when he was uh, putting on that pressure and, and coming forward. Um, also, you know, he was able to land that right hand also. But I, I, I will say, I will say um, this: Tony Harrison's jab is 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 better than uh, than. Um, than Terrell Goucher. His jab is a lot better. And also in that fight, uh, Terrell Goucher, when he did give a little bit of movement, it did give um, it did give Tim Zhu some problems. And Tim Zhu, if you watch him, you know, he's pretty flat-footed. And t and uh, Tony Harrison is the type that can really punch on the move. Yeah, he, and he's going to use the, you know, the footwork. Win, yeah. You know what I mean? So he's not going to be just sitting there shelling up, you know, and allowing, you know, um, uh, uh, him to just... Uh, you know, throw these heavy shots at him. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, um, the other thing, he was able to, Terrell Boucher was able to land some counters. He was able to land a lot of counters, um, not uh, not enough to win him the rounds because I do think Tim Zhu actually dominated the, the fight, but I'm just talking about small instances that I think that Tony Harrison will be able to, um, capitalize, on to capitalize on. Um, and so, you know, he, you know, hit, along with the movement, along with that jab, it, it's it's Tim Zhu is gonna definitely have to go through some fire behind that jab. I mean, if you even watch, you know what the jab was doing with Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo had some pro a lot of problems with that jab as well. And um, you know, every fighter you know that that has come across him that had problems with that jab. Um, the other thing that I that I talked about is um, you know I kind of already kind of talked about you know he's been Tony Harrison has been in there with some with some oh. with some big punchers and some dogs. Now, and I say that to say this, you know, I think that he will be able to take uh, Tim Zhu's punch. And, and, I, and another thing I kind of look at, I'm like, okay, because there's some people who have made it the distance uh, with Tim Zhu. Um, in Inoue um, made it the distance, even though it was a domination and he took some heavy shots. Uh, but he was able to go the distance. And we just saw, of course, Terrell Boucher, yeah. who, who went the distance, even though he was taking some big shots as well. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm looking at the power... And the simple fact of if we put Jermel Charlo, if we put Jermel Charlo with Inoue or uh, Terrell Boucher, people are going to expect him to to get that knockout. You know what I mean? And and he was taking a lot of those shots. Um, also, the other thing I want to kind of talk about is the dimensions of these fighters. Um, if when I went down uh, Tim Zhu's um, record, um, it looks like Tony Harrison is going to be the tallest fighter that he's fought thus far. So that's you know that's definitely going to be an adjustment. And, you know, he's not only tall, like, Tony Harrison got some long arms, yeah, okay? And I, and with him being such a skilled fighter, he's not the type to give up, you know, just give up his, his reach. He knows how to use that reach, you know what I mean? He knows how to use that reach probably better than any, probably probably better than um, anyone in the division. And as, as far as um, in the in the 154-pound division. So I think that's really going to give him, um, give him some trouble. Um, and so when I kind of compare Tim Zhu to these guys that got Tony up out of there, when I com compare their uh, dimensions, you got Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo is a 5'11", 6 foot. He got about, you know, about 72 inch reach, right? Then you got, and then um, who, who got Tony out of there? Then you got uh, Jared Hurd, who's the same size as Tony with the same reach, right? Then, so now when I put him in there with, uh, and even Willie Nelson, Willie Nelson was 6'3". Um, so even when I, so when I, uh, Put Tim Zhu in there. Tim Zhu, uh, five nine, uh, seventy inch. You know, it's it's. I, I just see that being a big difference in this fight. You know, mm -hmm. Tony being able to use his advantages um, in this fight. And to talk a little bit more about uh, uh about his, you know, his, his his gas tank issues. You know, that's been you know his everyone. That's the question that everyone asked him. And I kind of thought back to after the Sergio Garcia fight. Um, you know, because he because he gave us you know ten strong rounds, and one of the things that he said um, was the factor the factor was um, his composure. Um, you know, and 
if you if you know if you stay composed in there you're less likely to get tired and I think that that's something that he did um, and also um, his brother uh, on the interview in the, in the boxing voice you know he said Tony was already in shape when he got the call and um, if you listen to Tony before he said one of the things that was killing him especially in that second fight with Charlo was the fact that he he had to lose like 10 pounds in like in how long it was like 10 pounds or something in a week and so for him to already be on weight I expect that to also help him um, help him with his gas tank later because he's not having to kill himself because he's already he's been staying around weight whether it be uh, you know training with Alicia uh, Baumgartner or the little kids I love seeing him uh, train the little kids um, so I think that um, he's definitely going to be uh, you know well prepared for this fight also we know that he comes from that uh, from that Kronk gym the legend with the legendary Kronk gym with the legendary trainer uh, Emmanuel Stewart. Um, there was a video of uh, sur surfacing on Twitter with uh, him sparring uh, with a uh, Triple G, like when he was younger. Oh, and we know Triple G got that come forward pressure too. So, yeah. so you know, I think he's gonna be well prepared for this. Yeah. Um. So you know, with with all that being said, I'm going with the Detroit native. Mm. Was it S O G? A K A Super Bad. <laughs> Tony. Harrison. Okay. Yeah. For the dub. And I, um... Do you think it's going to be knockout? You, think gonna knock you know what? I, I think that it's going to be a decision because, I I mean, Tim Zhu has already showed us that he's willing to go through fire and he, you know, he's tough. He's a dog. I've seen him take some huge shots and just keep walking forward. Um, the thing about him, he's never, I've never seen him get the respect, <laughs> get, re, uh, get, give respect to any of the fighters that he, you know, that, that he's came across. Yeah. You know, he's, he just walks down. Um, no matter what they come in, uh, coming with, you know, he just continues to walk his opponent down. And, and I mean, I think Tony's gonna be real hungry too for this fight. Why well, yeah. I mean both of them? Because yeah. I think that um, that Tim Zhu now like one. I don't think he's saying it, but I feel I think that he really wants to shut Tony up to him saying like I am yeah. ready and I should yeah. be fighting for yeah. the undisputed belts. Yeah. Um, and. Tony, we know he yeah. wants that trilogy so bad, so bad, so bad with Mel. And what uh -huh. we, I just found out that yeah, Mel yeah, that Mel, there. that Mel gonna be on the telecast. I that, was like, hey, what? hey, that's gonna be that that right there. To hearing uh, Jamel on the uh, commentating, that's must see TV wow, right there. Wow. I can't, I can't wait for that too. I can't wait. So I feel like they both really yeah. need to get yeah. the win to prove that one yeah. Tony is saying I need the damn trilogy he goes yeah. come on Mel yeah. we can't die like this yeah, so absolutely. um he's really wanting yeah. for that and Tim Doo, he wants to prove that yeah. he does deserve to fight for yeah. the undisputed so yeah both both have different yeah both have different motivations but mm -hmm. their motivation is through the roof I feel yeah, like so I'm excited to see it I love me some yeah. boxing on the weekend uh -huh. and yeah but yeah so uh that's all we got um, let us know below how you see this fight going. I mean, this I, I've seen I've seen it every which way. And a lot of people are on this side. A lot of people are on this side. So definitely let us know below uh, how you see this fight going or who you got. But uh, that's all we got. So thanks for tuning in, y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or talk your shit. And we out.